Hello! <laughs> it's time for our Denver Q&A. Wait a minute, I love New York. <laughs> we just finalized like everything for the move. We booked our one-way plane ticket. We just did a lot in the last hour. We spent a lot of money I'm today. A little, <laughs> a little overwhelmed. It's okay, it's okay. We're moving in by the time you're seeing this. Two weeks? Two and a half weeks? Something like that. I don't know. It's all happening. I'm gonna get lots of coffee. It's all happening. So, we asked you guys questions. Um, we've got a lot to get through, so I'm gonna try and talk fast. Let's not ramble because I forgot there's questions on YouTube as well that I need to go back and look at. Cool. So, <laughs> let's do it. Okay, first one. Silly question time. Are you more excited for a bigger kitchen or bathrooms? Um. <laughs> Alex is screaming bathroom. I think I'm gonna have to say bathroom as well, only because That's not what I thought you were gonna say. We each have our own bathroom, and I have never had my own bathroom in my life. Um, in high school, I had my own like vanity, so like the sink and stuff, but I still shared like a toilet and shower. So this is my first time to ever have my entire whole bathroom to myself. So I'm very excited about it. I would say kitchen. For sure, and I would have put money on that. Well, that's what you would if have you would have been specific about a pantry, because the, in hindsight, the kitchen that um, is in our new house is not like giant times bigger than what we have now. Not really. Um, so there's just different space for different things. We have a pantry, so our food can go in there instead of all the cabinets that right. it's in here. So that's where we're at. Yeah, kitchen for sure, because like she said, bathroom, like I've shared a bathroom my whole life as well, most of that with her, Yeah. Um, <laughs> except for the only exception is three years in college, um, my last three years of college I had my own bathroom, but besides that I've always shared, so I'm just used to it, yeah. so while it's going to be nice, <laughs> that's not, that wasn't a must have for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the thing you will miss most about living in New York? The convenience. Yeah, my walking down the street to Starbucks. That's exactly what I was gonna say. That was the like example I was gonna give. Um, yeah, really just the convenience and stuff. But I feel like over the past year, because of COVID and also because we knew we were moving, the um, rose colored glasses we had on about New York has been lifted for me a little bit. And so every time we go out, I'm like, how did I do this for the past 10 years? But yeah, definitely the convenience for sure. Um, will you still be working in fashion? So I think this is more directed towards her since um, I just do the system market full time. Yeah, so I know, <laughs> I know where you're going with that. Yeah, so I am also system market full time. I don't know that I've necessarily like fully said this very clearly, but I am no longer working at my previous full time job. If you guys have followed for a long time, um, I am now also just full time system market. So that's what we're doing. That's a big reason why we're moving. Mm -hmm. So um, we are moving. So as most of you guys know, um, all of our inventory and everything is at our parents' house and our mom does all of that. She will no longer be doing all of that. We're taking it over. We're taking it over. Uh, we're bringing it all to our house. We have uh, basically our entire basement in our new house is Sister Market Headquarters. Everything's going to be there. Giant office, everything. It's a big so, finished basement. That was one yeah. of our must-haves in the house. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so, yeah, so that's going to be mm -hmm. what we do full-time. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are the scariest and best parts of moving? Scariest for me right now is that the moving truck is taking all of our stuff from New York to Denver. We are flying, so we are now with our stuff, and our stuff can take like up to 19 days to get there, and so the scariest part for me is just like, is everything gonna get there? Is everything gonna be okay? Is everything not gonna be broken? Okay, I'm not worried about that. Scariest, <laughs> scariest, scariest part was well when we were in the process of trying to find the house if you guys watched our we are moving video um a couple videos ago actually getting the house like securing the house like that was scary yeah um but then now i would say the scary part is all the money we're spending yeah because that's it's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of money really fast like we've been saving for a whole yeah. year um but it's just like when you see that bank account <laughs> quickly go down yeah um with all these big ticket expenses mm -hmm. Best, I think, is I'm just excited about all the space in the new house, and I kind of get like butterflies every time I look at the pictures of the house, and I'm like, oh my god, like we manifested 
this house. Yeah, I'm excited about more space. I'm excited about um, like the proximity to nature and mm -hmm. all the adventuring we get to go do. Yeah. Um, okay, what will you miss the most about New York? Um, well, it's, it's kind of the same question. Um, I'm gonna miss Central Park mm -hmm. and just, you know, like Broadway and just kind of like the camaraderie of the city as yeah. well. Um, but it was a fun 10 years and we're leaving on a good note. Uh, so yeah, it's time. I'm gonna miss the convenience, like I mentioned, and then like the people watching and just like you're always close to a lot of people. Um, which is a good or a bad thing, mm -hmm. but like the camaraderie, especially after the past year, yeah. um, like I don't think you're necessarily gonna have that same feeling in right. Denver or in another city. So mm -hmm. I'll miss that. What kind of puppy will Shelby be adding to the family? If you guys caught that in the moving vlog, I actually thought I'd cut it out because I no, I, I watched it. <laughs> and then we got this question, and she's like, "How do they know?" <laughs> Like, you left it in the video. I totally meant <laughs> to cut it out, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting a dog. <laughs> um, I am getting a mini golden doodle, timeline, TB TBD. Um, I've already put down the deposit and everything. I've already been in contact with everything happening. We just don't know. You know, it's unpredictable. When <laughs> yeah, you can't plan, <laughs> plan when I'm so, going to get a dog. Yeah, a so I will be getting a mini golden doodle. Hopefully at some time this year. That's the plan. Um, what were some of our top must-haves in the new house? Um, like she just said, the basement, finished basement for our sister market headquarters. We are our, our must-haves like t were four bedrooms mm -hmm. because we wanted to we have want a guest, guest room. room, at least two bathrooms, allowed pets, mm -hmm. two pets, a backyard, and a backyard, and, and had a basement. finished basement. Everything else was kind of negotiable yeah but we got amazing because now we have four beds three baths giant basement laundry room pantry we actually have an extra room on the main floor as well that is going to become our like workout room mm -hmm. uh so and we got a giant garage it's in a great neighborhood like it's even better than we could ever imagine um i can't wait to see poppy in that backyard oh i'm so excited Okay, um, lots of questions about Alex in this as well. So she said, I know <laughs> you guys you are very curious about Alex. <laughs> so I know you have your own business. Was it easy with Alex moving to a new state slash her job? Um, yes, it was easy for her. I, a lot of the people that work at her company work remote. Um, so it was no big deal for and them to let her work remote. At the end of last year, they actually got rid of their office in the city mm -hmm. and everybody's now remote. So yeah. like, it really doesn't matter where she works yeah, from. Exactly. So no big deal. Yeah, so she's keeping her same job. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. You answered this on your story, but I want to go ahead and answer it again here. She said, "Will you be buying a car, or is public transportation an option?" So public transportation is an option when you are like downtown in a few neighborhoods, kind of really close to downtown. Um, that's not where we are, so we will be getting cars. Pray for us because I'm stressed about it. I know, not, about I know nothing about cars. So I put this on my story. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already saw. But um, I asked for like, what is your favorite feature in your car? Because I haven't owned a car in 10 years. Yeah. And car technology has changed so much since I last owned a car. And when I've driven rental cars or a parent's car over the past 10 years, like I'm like, what? I don't understand what all this stuff is. What does yeah. it do? So I asked you guys to share what your favorite feature of your car is. Um, so if you didn't already tell me on Instagram, <laughs> go ahead and comment down below because I'm starting, I'm legit starting a list of things to be on the lookout for when car shopping. Um, and then also if you live in a cold weather climate, um, besides all wheel drive, what is a must have for you, for your car when you drive like in the snow? Um, it's also, it's, I've never gotten more responses on anything than those two question boxes on literally. Instagram. Like literally everybody's literally. like so happy to share about their cars, which uh, welcome, thank you. Um, it's also comical how many people have um, told me to buy a Subaru because <laughs> that's the kind of it's the Colorado car. That's kind of what I've been looking at potentially because it just in my general research, that's what everybody drives and says. But like everybody's like super, 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 super. 
Um, you kind of already, yeah, I mean, you did already answer this, but she just said you were working remote already. Will this affect your employment? She's no longer at that company. She does system market full time like me. So no, because we're our own bosses, it's not gonna affect our employment at all. <laughs> um, this is kind of the big one that a lot of people have asked. And it's basically just like, why Colorado? Why not anywhere else? Why'd you pick Colorado? Um, so we love nature. We want to be able to travel. Um, there's lots of national parks that are drivable, you know, in the states surrounding Colorado and especially with COVID and, you know, we still don't know kind of what the full outcome of COVID is going to be. Is it going to be a reoccurring thing? You know, all of this, you guys know we used to fly to Europe all the time from New York, but that's not really going to be an option maybe for the next two to three years to do that all the time. Not easily at least. Um, so we want to be able to drive to a lot of these different places. We have explored the West Coast kind of of the country, but you know, do more because we've kind of done everything on the we've East done, Coast. Yeah, we've done a lot of the like literal um, West Coast. Yeah but not a lot of like the mm -hmm. mountain area. Yeah. A little bit so, further east. So that's a big thing. Um, her My best, childhood best friend. Her best friend, who's basically my sister as well, um, lives in Colorado with her kids. Um, she just had her second baby girl. Um, so we want to be in their lives. You guys know Kristen. Uh, we, when they lived in England, we went over there yeah. and did trips with them. Kristen and I haven't lived in the same state <laughs> since 2008, mm -hmm. college or the same country for a while. <laughs> so being closer um, is mm -hmm. something that was important mm -hmm. um, to me. So that's mm -hmm. a, par a big part of the reason yeah. why we chose Colorado mm -hmm. as well. Closer to Texas a little bit. Yeah. Um, a little closer to our parents yeah. and, and other family in mm -hmm. Texas. Um, Colorado is a little closer to New York. It's drivable, it's yeah. kinda, depending on the route, 12, 13 hour drive mm -hmm. um, from Denver to like Dallas, for example. Mm -hmm. So, um, Sorry, I'm just trying to pull up that's, that's another, that's another reason. Uh, it might seem random, but um, th that's a little bit of the background. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one was funny. <laughs> they go, how long will it take you to eat a Denver omelet in Denver while listening to John Denver? <laughs> What's a Denver omelet? I don't know exactly, but my answer to that is we're allergic to eggs. Yeah. So, <laughs> and we're vegan. So uh, we won't eat omelets. Love John Denver though. We will listen to John Denver probably when we get in the car, when we land. <laughs> um, Rachel, our cousin asked, how often is your favorite cousin allowed to visit? Um, as much as you want. Although we need to start like a calendar waitlist situation because the amount of people who are like, I'm coming like right away is a little alarming because <laughs> I'm like, uh, we only have one guest room. Yeah, but we have a guest room, which is exciting. <laughs> um, we've kind of answered this, um, but they asked, when do you think we'll buy a car and what is Alex doing for work? She's keeping her same job. Um, we're actually going to get cars right away. Yeah. Uh, probably like a week after we move is the plan right now. Um, this is when my feminism drops a little bit. Our dad is flying out to help us because I have never bought a car in my life. I, in high school, I received her old car for me in high school because we knew that I was moving to New York when I got my license and so we didn't want to buy like a new car. So I had a hand-me-down car and then I have it. Hey, that's a great car. Oh, no, I loved it. But I'm just saying, I have never been a part of this whole right. car buying experience and I won't let it's someone take advantage so of me, but I don't want yeah. some it's cars just been so long. We're advantage. just so naive about cars. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we just haven't had one in so long. So our dad is flying out right after we move to come and help us. I saw that. somebody ask, I don't know if you're getting to this, but um, we're each planning to get yes. a car too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we planning to see our parents more with the move? Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, probably. <laughs> um, our dad is excited to actually come to us for holidays. Mom's a little on the fence. She's weird about snow, so we'll see. Um, but yes, it's only like a 45 minute-ish flight from Denver to Dallas, so it will be a lot easier to see them. They also like to drive, so they'll probably drive up to Colorado mm -hmm. um, a lot. So we'll definitely be seeing them more than we do now. Um, and how will we travel between Denver and Dallas? Probably a mixture of flying and driving. Um, once I have um, the new dog. We'll see how big she actually turns out to be. 
that will determine. I'm a fan of super long road trips, especially frequently. I would much rather hop on a flight. Yeah. Um, so that would be probably my preferred. Oh, yeah. We'll We've talked about, you know, if we're going like to Texas for Thanksgiving and Christmas, maybe we'll fly at Thanksgiving, drive at Christmas because we'll have like more things probably. So who knows? It'll be a mixture of yeah. both probably, but flying more often as long as um my dog i don't want to say her name i've almost said it but i want <laughs> we already have her name picked out but i want that to be a reveal like oh, later okay. so i'm not gonna say it um but when i see like how big she actually is and whether she can come on the plane with us we'll determine that um did you someone, say what kind of dog you're getting did you a mini that? golden oh, noodle yeah i said that uh, someone just said the fall content is gonna be so good can't wait yeah. yes I'm so excited for that. Love that comment. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, what things are we most excited for? Lots. The mm -hmm. parks. Yep. More space. Driving. Nature. Exploring a new city. Not having to carry groceries back from the grocery store. Um, you guys, there's a Whole Foods right by our house. And I'm very excited about it. Um, and what do our parents think about the move? I bet they're excited. They are. Dad is actually... Mom's excited. Probably. She, she, <laughs> she just doesn't like cold weather or the snow, and she thinks that that's just what Colorado is. And it's not. <laughs> it's a part of it, sure, yeah. but like it's not always like mm -hmm. that. So She needs to come visit in the summer yeah. and the fall, and then she, I think she'll yeah. be more excited. Here's the thing. Dad is very excited because he can come visit us. He does not like New York. Yes, our been our dad hasn't been here since 2015. <laughs> he, really, he'll, he sends mom but he doesn't ever want to come so I think he's excited that's why it's so weird because like we said our dad is coming out to help us with the car that's just dad mom's not coming at that point and I was like that's weird because like they're not coming together we're so used to mom just like coming um but yeah no they're they're excited there, because we said I said something to Dad the other day on FaceTime, and I was like, "We have a pantry." And he was like, "I know you've been living in this New York bubble for ten years." He was like, "Most places have all of these things like in their house." I know, doing like the, all those house walkthroughs, the, of the <laughs> things that we were excited about in these houses. You guys, the people have, showing us the houses were probably rolling their. We eyes. have two linen closets in our hallway in our house. Like, that's about, what I'm excited about. We're excited about closets. We're excited <laughs> about pantries. <laughs> Good times, good times. Um, I think that's pretty much all of the questions. Oh, okay. Um, if you guys have any other questions, comment down below and mm -hmm. we will respond to mm -hmm. the comments. But we will start filming kind of the whole process. We'll probably, we need to order boxes and stuff. We'll probably start packing next I want to start week. packing too early because I don't want to live in boxes. It's like a balance. Like I yeah. don't want to live in like mess and like, but, like chaos. Also, like, a but like you have to have enough up. enough time. <laughs> <laughs> we also have lots of pieces of furniture that are not coming with us yeah. that we have to get rid of. Like that. That's not coming. <laughs> I'm not pointing at Shelby. She's it's coming, but <laughs> that isn't coming. Our um, couch broken. is not coming. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a new bed, so this bed isn't yeah, coming. I've so had this bed since I've lived in New York, and I'm just, like, ready. Yeah, there's just, like, a lot that we have to figure out. <laughs> so, My yeah. to-do list is very long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is that. Let us know if you have any other questions, and we'll see you in Denver, I guess. Yeah. Crazy. Wow, that's crazy to say. <laughs> I know.